Hello everybody, welcome to If I Can Do It, You Can Do It. Today I'm going to show you guys how to perform an oil change on your Husqvarna YTH22V46 riding lawnmower. In fact, this procedure we're about to go through, you could probably do this on almost any make of your Husqvarna riding lawnmowers. You could probably even do, do the same way with like a John Deere or some other stuff. I don't know. But anyway, with that said, let's get into it. It's an easy procedure. Let's go. For this job, you're going to need a cardboard that's going to go underneath your mower, some safety glasses, some gloves for your mitts, some oil. I need two quarts. Some multi-purpose paper towels, something that absorbs oil pretty well. An oil filter, I put the link below. The tube that actually came with my mower. And an oil pan. Now, since your mower has been sitting all winter, you want to get the easiest way to get this oil out is to turn your mower on for a few minutes, 10 minutes, let that oil warm up so it can drain out easily. Once that's done, safety first, safety first, safety first. Put your parking brake on, you don't want to suck it rolling. And then, take this little sucker off, it just pops right up. I think there used to be a screw on mine, but I don't know. I had this thing for a few years. Anyway, pull that right up, that comes off. That's gonna get you access to the drain plug that you're gonna need to put that rubber tube on and it's gonna drain out your oil. Is that sucker right there. It's a little dirty, so let me clean it up a little bit so you can see it a little bit better. Slide my oil pan under there. Don't wanna forget that. See this little piece right here? Pop off that cap. Insert that rubber tube that came with the mower. You could probably buy, if you don't have it, you can definitely buy this at one in a big box. And then you gotta take that valve and you gotta twist and pull. And this is why you need that tube, because um, if you don't have that tube, oil's gonna get everywhere. It's just gonna spill all over that chassis. So I'm just gonna use that little gray thing that I pulled off just to help me position that tube to my um, to my oil pan a little bit better. And as you can see, you see the oil draining there pretty nicely. I don't know if you saw on that cardboard there was oil there already. That's why I put that cardboard there. I don't want that on my driveway. But this is it. Drain, drain, drain. See that oil? So now this thing, let me just show you real quick how this goes. Let's see if I can get the camera up in here. You see that little notch? Right, hold on, horrible angle. I missed my camera woman. So that goes up and then twist. This is how we're gonna close it. We're gonna push down and twist. Like boom, boom. And do the exact reverse when you want to unplug it. Twist and pull. That's it. Put the sucker back in. And the draining portion is finito. Put this little gray thing back on. It has these little tabs there. They just slide right in. And I swear, be careful. Yours might have a screw on it. I think mine's had the screws on it. I just never put them back so I'm constantly in here. So that's one side. So now we go to the other side. You can see the brake pedal right there. And do the same thing. Pull this off. Because what we're trying to do is get to the oil filter. Which is this sucker right here. So I'm just going to move these um, cables. That's an oil filter. I'm sorry, that's a gas filter I actually put on here. Saw it on a YouTube video too. And yeah, just get these, these cables out of your way. The oil filter, you can use your mitts. And just twist it counterclockwise. It comes right off. 
you have to put a little oomph into it but not that much but before we do that grab you some of those multi-purpose paper towels and just slide it up under there as best you can like try to cover all that chassis because as soon as you take this off well you'll see no tools that came right off look at that look at that look at that oil look at the oil jerry curl juice coming all out of my lawnmower but it catches it on that multi-purpose it doesn't get your chassis extra dirty because um it's annoying to get that stuff off this is it this do filter let's clean this up a little bit you see why i got the gloves on my mitts I'm just gonna go in here and try to clean all this excess oil off that's, that, that's on that chassis but the minute you start cutting that grass and all the dirt and stuff man it's just gonna just clog and gook up in there so clean this really good after you take off that oil filter now I'm gonna grab the new oil filter BRS4929 blah 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 Anyway, I'll post that in the description. So when you get your new oil filter, take some oil, whether new or old, doesn't matter, and rub it around the brim, a little plastic ring. Don't ask me why. I really don't remember why. I just know when I learned how to do this, I said to do that, even with your cars. I don't know why, but do it. Just tighten the sucker up. Now you want to get this in there nice and tight. Like, um, like go in. Because you don't want oil leaking. Nice and snug. Snug, snug, snug. And boom. Just like that. Step two. You are done. You change your oil filter. You drain your oil. Change your oil filter. Simple. This is simple stuff. Do not be taking your car your car do not be taking your lawnmower to the shop to have this done because you can do this on your own for like twenty dollars that oil filter really costs nothing i don't really remember what it cost but the description below <laughs> but it costs nothing put your wires back in the harness put this thing back here slides right on push down slides on push down done now we're going to add our oil this lawnmower needs a 10w30 this bottle is one quart i already put one quart in but i need two so i already did one quart so anyway for video purposes i don't have a funnel that opening is big enough so i really don't need it but i gotta pour carefully and i'm sorry about the camera angle but i mean i'm pouring oil i'm not doing anything technical here just taking my time to make sure this thing doesn't spill everywhere. Just pour that oil in there. And this model needs two quarts. And please change your oil on your mower. These mowers are expensive as they are and a really good, good beast. Don't ruin your motor for being lazy. And please, do not take your mower to the shop. You can do this very fast. Check your oil levels. Insert that sucker back in. Give it a twisty twist and you, my friends, you are done. Now let's recap. You drain your oil, you change your oil filter, and you added two quarts of oil into this beast. And that is that. Start her up, make sure you have no leaks, and that's it. With that said, I am the Amateur's Amateur. This is If I Can Do It, You Can Do It. I hope this video was informative, and thank you very, very much for viewing.